Background. My fiancé and I live together, have been engaged for over a year, dated for several years prior. She bought the house. We both work full time. She is WFH, and I'm not, and we each have a dog. She has AD, or ADHD, can't remember right now. Issue, I'm at my wit's end, when it comes to household chores, projects, and, most importantly, time. Both my fiancé and I work full time 9 to 5, but it's after work, when the issues start. When I get home I like to have a few minutes of downtime, before starting on the home chores and projects. Painting porches, organizing, cleaning, etc. And then I like to stop around 8 to eat dinner, clean up dishes, and do things like card games, video games, spend time together, etc. My K, however goes straight from work to chores, and won't stop doing chores or projects until she drops. Typically she even skips lunch at work, and then after work will do chores slash projects until 10 p.m. where she only then eats something unhealthy and then once we have reset the house put away dishes cleaned all countertops etc which takes another hour or so to the state where she can relax it will be around 11 so i only have the energy to lay on the couch watch an episode of tv her choice and then we both go to bed i wake up somewhat early to go to work rinse and repeat I feel completely overworked, and like my entire life is being steamrolled by her, and I'm stuck in a bind. If I want to spend any time with her whatsoever I have to help out. I don't mind the work, really. I pull my own weight and I have single-handedly done some major projects to improve her house. There are even chores that are 100% mine. However she will often go back and do them again after I have done them. I don't half-ass them. I cannot keep going like this. Every weekday I wake up, go to work, come home, work all night, and then go to sleep. Sometimes we agree to stop at a certain time but it doesn't really help. Most often she blows past that time and then does a bunch of other things while I'm sitting around waiting on her just 5 more minutes and then by the time she is done, it is close to 11 again and neither of us have the energy for anything productive anymore. She tells me that I don't have to help and I should just do what I want and let her do her own thing, but I cannot sit back and let her do everything. I know having a house is a joint effort and she also gets mad at me if I don't help enough. She complains she doesn't have any hobbies or friends. I don't know what to tell her other than no duh, you don't do anything fun. You literally work all day and then work all night. She tells me just tell me when to stop and I'll stop, but when she is in the moment there is no stopping her. It affects our sex life as well. I'll just say that we don't have sex nearly as often as I think we should, not due to me, but due to her checklist of things she has to do. She agrees but does nothing to attempt to rectify the problem. We have had multiple sit downs and discussions where we reach a resolution, but the resolutions never get implemented. She promises things will change. She admits it's a problem and doesn't want to be like that, but she doesn't actually do anything to stop it. I, on the other hand, have been spending tons of money and time trying to help her but nothing works and I get no appreciation. The more I do, the more work gets put on me and now I find myself doing the same stuff. I hardly ever do the things I like to do. Anymore. Run. Card slash video games. Tabletop games skating, etc. because it's too late and I'm too tired. Asterisk oh any more thing to add, her version of organizing is just putting things in other boxes without throwing away or donating things so in reality it is just moving things around and making things harder to find, which in turn makes my work so much more arduous since step 1 and 2 of every household task becomes 1. Look for thing I need in the place we last left it, 2. Go on wild goose chase to find it, since it isn't there. We've tried designating all the tasks we want done in a particular day, and sticking to only those. Doesn't help. She keeps going. We've tried picking a stopping time. She consistently blows past it by at least an hour and a half. I then propose a stopping time of 1.5 hours prior to the real stopping time, but she blows past both the initial stop time and the secondary one. It's like she literally can't do anything other than work between the hours of 9am and 9pm don't even get me started on weekends. I'm seeking advice from other people who have dealt with similar situations on how to cope. 
general chore and labor division strategies aren't really what I'm looking for, since she doesn't follow them. How do you deal with someone who wants to change, says they will change, asks for help in order to change, but then does everything not to change? TL, doctor, fiance has ad. All we do is clean, work, and organize and I'm beyond burned out. Is she untreated? There are different levels of ADHD. Executive dysfunctioning and motivation are really hard for a lot of folks with ADHD. If you haven't already, sit her down and tell her how this is affecting you emotionally and how everyone is suffering. When you explain how it affects everyone emotionally, you may reach her this time. She should get a consult for treatment if she has not already. I will share medication will only work if you want to work at it. She has recently started taking Valium for pelvic floor issues related to endometriosis. No medication for ad slash ad slash OCD. She has been seeing a therapist for maybe 4 months. Is she medicated for her ADHD? If not, this is definitely a sign that she should talk to her doctor about trying it out. I have ADHD myself. Trust me, she's equally as frustrated with herself as you are with her. Nobody wants to live their life like that, and it's really frustrating when your brain doesn't allow you to do the things you want to do. Encourage her to see her doctor to either get medicated or adjust her medication and hopefully that will help a lot. Either under medicated or over medicated. You need to tell her the relationship is in crisis, you know you can't go on like this, and if you guys can't figure this out, neither of you are going to be happy and comfortable. At this point, a relationship counselor is asterisk a must. You've tried on your own, she hasn't implemented what you guys agreed on. You talk of change, but she repeatedly has shown she won't follow through. This is very likely a symptom of another issue, but she needs to figure out how to handle it so you both can be happy and comfortable, but at this point, you aren't. Right now is when you guys are figuring out if this is a relationship you can grow and be happy in, and unless you two figure something out, I don't see it getting better or changing, so you really need to sit her down and tell her exactly where you are in crisis. Things need to change now. This needs to be the main focus in your relationship. I don't even understand how there are even that many chores to do 6 hours of chores a day in a house with no kids. Is the house a fixer-upper that needs a lot of work? No. I used to call what she did putzing around. I don't anymore bc I realize it is insensitive of me, but she will basically straighten things up and reorganize the same place multiple times per month. Or she will pull out all her clothes to go through and organize slash donate some, but she doesn't really donate a lot and then puts them all back and does it all over again a week or so later. She needs everything to be put away and in its place, but we simply don't have enough storage space. This sounds like OCD. This is what I do, and I know from experience you cannot stop until you drop. She needs psychological help. This is driven by anxiety etc. You should start her with a therapist. She is struggling. I agree with your assessment. My sister is exactly like this. I've come to the conclusion that, if she stops her anxiety about whatever it is she's avoiding, will come crashing down on her. HMM. That sounds a bit more like OCD. Full disclosure, lady with ADHD here. She may have to seek counseling BC this is starting to spiral hard. Also, I hired a professional organizer once to consult for 2 hours and she told me exactly what kind of storage things to buy etc and it helped a lot. Maybe that consult will help your wife better understand organization etc. She definitely needs medical intervention on this. If possible, you may need to speak to her doctor privately to explain what you notice because she may not realize how compulsive her behavior is. Unfortunately, this is something she has to get help for and put the work in to change slash improve. You can only support her. I'm curious, have you ever tried an alarm? I can sometimes get hyperfocused on a task and I use alarms to snap me out of it. Hi, I had something similar and still struggle with this, but I have CPTSD, complex post-traumatic stress disorder. For me it was an avoidance trauma response. I would work and clean and do chores till my body literally broke down, and I would crash for days. I have been in therapy for 3 years now, and it has helped me immensely, night and day. 
Me and my partner also go to couples therapy and our relationship in all aspects has improved so much. Not sure if that's helpful, but just a personal experience. Zero. WTF are you both doing? Seriously, I work significantly less, and I have children. One. I genuinely think that some kind of therapy might help here. There is bound to be some underlying anxiety or asterisk s-o-m-e-t-h-i-n-g asterisk under this, too. Did you try to schedule date slash chill time? Like Tuesday 1800 hours to 2300 hours and Friday 1800 hours to 2300 hours are the times when you two date and don't work asterisk and no matter what is not d-o-n-e asterisk. Literally everything can wait, unless giant hole in roof appeared exactly that day, 3. Advanced version, the above but for every day 20 hundred hours is deadline and nothing is going to be done that day, if you have no idea, the TV gets turned on, and you watch whatever crap is in it, unless you figure out you want to play board game, or have other fun idea. What on earth, are you both doing every day, to be so busy every day, sounds insane. She needs help. She needs to see a doctor. She needs medication for her ADHD. You need to reconsider your relationship if she won't seek help. Because you cannot live like that. Your relationship won't survive it. You won't survive it. Seriously. No one can live like that for too long. This is not ad connected behavior in any obvious way. It could be a side effect of stimulants if she's taking those. She might look into different release slash dosage so that it wears off earlier in the day. Or it could be some kind of compulsive behavior. But this isn't stereotypical ad behavior. Apologies if I'm wrong. She does say it is ad, but maybe OCD is more appropriate. I'm not a psychiatrist or therapist. I do know that she says she cannot relax or eat until she has done a certain amount of tasks and then relaxing slash eating is her reward. Example, I will make food for her, letting her know well, in advance what time it will be ready, with multiple reminders, but when it is ready she will leave it out on the table for an hour for it to go cold, because she needs to clean one more thing, or take a shower. She is incapable of eating dinner, if she hasn't showered, because she hasn't earned it. ADHD wife here to chime in with how my husband handles my productivity hyperfocus. He gives me a set amount of time that he will work alongside me on whatever the project is. So I know I have 2 hours with him then I'm on my own with whatever fuckery I've managed. It's very helpful, but I feel obligated to mention that I'm also medicated. What is she like when you go on holiday away from the house? Complete opposite. She is relaxed, happy, attentive, and fun loving. Sometimes it feels like I need to take her on a vacation in order to actually spend time together. Is her at being treated by a psychiatrist and therapist? I dated someone with untreated mental health conditions. He tried so, so hard to manage them, but what he needed was professional help, which he refused to get. After that, I decided never again to date someone with a health issue they are ignoring. Mental health included. Please don't marry her until you know she will be willing to manage her health condition. Your wife's obsession goes far beyond chores and household tasks, and counseling might be involved, which is far above my intelligence grade, but I can make one suggestion that has really helped me, a cleaning person. It may relieve some of the stress. You get your house cleaned, and you give someone a job or a part-time job. They do the same thing every two weeks, and you don't have to do it. The trade half of time and money is well worth it. A cleaning person working hard can clean a 2700 SF house in 3 hours. So you get back 3 at least 3 hours every 2 weeks. Not much, but it may help. We did have cleaners, but they didn't clean well enough. She might be on the wrong medication for her if she feels like she can't slow down and relax at all. If she has an afternoon dose, like with some stimulants, maybe she doesn't need the second dose. She does not take stimulants 